infrastructure is. So why is it that I am arguing that Orange is not the best choice to, um, for this new regional investment corporation? Can I also acknowledge that the government did very little research? They said. Uh, in the Bendigo Advertiser, yes, uh, Bendigo is one of several regions considered for the new bureauc um, bureaucracy, as long as Wagga Wagga, Albury Wodonga, Bathurst, Toowoomba and another. But yet they didn't ask the City of Greater Bendigo um, how we could best host this facility. They didn't engage with the Bendigo Bank, which is the largest bank outside a metropolitan city with its head office in Bendigo. They didn't consult rural finance that is also based in Bendigo. No, it was just a gift to a national party mate. They didn't do the homework, the business case, to step out why Orange should be the home for the Rural Investment Corporation. Um, Bendigo missed out on being the home of this new $28 million Commonwealth Regional Banking Agency that they believe will deliver $4 billion in loans, which I've already established there's a real question mark about that because our farmers don't like the way that they've been structured. We were one of seven areas to be considered, but the question is how were we considered? What work was done? What research was done? The question that I also asked at the time was what impact would this have on the jobs that we already have in Bendigo? What functions may it already um, will it try to take over um, that rural finance are involved in, that the Bendigo Bank and Adelaide Bank are involved in, both based in Bendigo? It's disappointing that at the time the comments that we got from the national senator whose office is in Bendigo is that, yes, this government body would bring jobs to Orange, not Bendigo Orange. Uh, the senator went on to say Bendigo was not successful this time but will just have to keep batting. That doesn't give much comfort to the people who work for the Bendigo Bank or the people who work for rural finance. Having a facility like the Rural Finance Corporation placed in Orange, there might be people, and this is what the senator said, living in regional Victoria, that once they go to Melbourne or Sydney, get a commerce degree, they may be able to seek a job opportunity in the Rural Investment Corporation in Orange. You have to do better than that. That is an appalling response to the people of Bendigo that your kids might move to Melbourne or Sydney to study at university and then one day may go to Orange. That is not how it works. We have a university in Bendigo that has a finance degree. We have a university, the Latrobe Bendigo campus, that already has graduates. When they, come, when they finish their studies, that transition into working for the Bendigo Bank and into rural finance. We already have the pathways established. In fact, the Bendigo Bank and the Rural Finance Corporation, both based in Bendigo, are the largest finance sector hub in regional Australia. It's not Orange, it's not Wagga Wagga, it's Bendigo. Over 1,000 people employed at the head office of the Bendigo Bank and a couple of hundred employed in rural finance, which the former Liberal National Government in Victoria, respecting the work that the Bendigo Bank did, sold that state-based enterprise to the Bendigo Bank, acknowledging the expertise that we have in our town. 